Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Leo. What is going on with my Leos at this very moment in time? What does Leo need to know? All righty, let's see. And don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you enjoy this reading. All right, we have seal vulnerability. This keeps coming out. Everybody's just being so vulnerable. I don't know what the moon is in right now. Let's make everyone open up. Now we have snake rebirth. You could be dealing with a Virgo or have it highly aspected in your chart. Red squirrel, conscientious. And overall energy is bore ferocity. Yeah, so I'm getting that someone who's being super aggressive is, of course, underneath it, feeling really um, hurt, emotional, who's actually wanting a connection. Someone who's angry is just hurt right now. And they want love. Yeah, with vulnerability and rebirth, you're going to witness someone go through like a, a literal transformation right in front of you. Like, it's going to kind of look like a, a mental breakdown, but it's not. It's like more so an emotional transformation. This is this person's emotional intelligence growing, expanding, and opening. Because this is a person who, had they, they hide their negative emotions a lot. They repress them a lot. You would never see this person angry or sad. Or maybe you always see them angry, but you'll never see them sad or hurt. They'll never admit when they're hurt or when they're needing affection. They'll just get angry instead and expect you to know. Or this could be you, but that's changing. Because I feel like someone starts off being aggressive about something and then they start crying and then they're laughing it's like you'll see a range of emotions happen it's like it looks like this person's having a mental breakdown and then you're looking at them like what the hell is going on and then this person just starts spewing their true feelings and thoughts to you randomly during this um breakdown and you're just sitting there like what you know i mean you understand it but you're just shocked I feel like a lot of that is going on right now. But let's get into the tarot and get more on this. All right. For Leo. Jeez. All right, we have the page swords. So I don't know if someone's been going to therapy or studying this, spying, page of pentacles. So you've been prepared for this. You can see that someone's been more volatile than usual lately. Their emotions have been more sporadic than usual. Then we have the page of pentacles. We got the seven of pentacles. You've been knowing this person for a while. Hermit card Virgo, that's what I was saying. Like, I felt like there's a Virgo involved. You may wanna check out that reading. Overall, and she's a page of wands. Dang, you have literally three pages. So it's like, yeah, someone's fine, like starting all over, opening up those parts of themselves that they've been repressing. It's like someone's starting from the beginning. So someone's emotional maturity is opening, growing. Because I feel like this person only showed like two emotions, happy or angry. They never showed anxiety, sadness. They channeled all their quote unquote negative emotions into anger. If they were anxious, depressed, or sad, or hurt, or confused, or anything like that, they channeled all of that into anger. They were either angry or happy. And so I feel like this person is learning to break all that up and express all that. And they're actually venting and expressing why they do what they do what's wrong with them they're like admitting their faults pretty much and you're wondering like well why to me i don't know <laughs> but i'm getting that like they're gonna express that they've been going to therapy or reading up on this and they've gotten an idea about themselves and and what led up to them being like this and it's been going on for such a long time and they're finally letting it out 
So this person can be very introverted when it comes to their feelings and emotions. And I feel like with bull or ferocity, they're not so much coming at you aggressively, but passionately. All right, clarify this for Leo. I don't know if their build makes them aggressive or the way they're exp expressing it is making them seem aggressive, but it's more so, it's not really aggression, it's passion. So they're not trying to like harm you or anything. This person's just, they they don't know how to express their emotions. <laughs> But I feel like you already knew that. Clarifying the Page of Swords is the Eight of Wands. And you're like, okay, again, why is this coming to me? I don't know. So either they verbally spew it over the phone, in person, through text, email. I feel like you're going to hear their voice though. So I feel like it's over the phone or in person. Four of Wands, it may be at your house. I feel like this person is going to express to you that they want to create a strong foundation and relationship with you. And they've been working on how to do that. I genuinely feel like this person's been to a therapist or been studying and reading up on this. Like, and they want to make it work. They want to make this work with you. I'm also getting a job offer. Someone's noticed your portfolio, your resume, and they're reaching out to you. I feel like a lot of companies are reaching out to you. Or um, if you're looking for a, a home, I see that as well. Whatever four wants, a strong foundation of getting like a home or a business, you're getting a lot of messages, a lot of feedback when it comes to that. Clarifying the page of pentacles is the nine of pentacles. Yeah, so there's definitely a job offer, a good paying one. If you've been holding out for the right position, it's finally here. If you've been trying to get your own place, that's finally here. That option is opened up. The high priestess, Pisces. I feel like you've been turning down uh, different types of jobs until you get the right one and you finally find the right one. You just know that this idea, this job is it. This is the one that's going to make you financially independent. It's going to have you the nine of pentacles. And you've been fighting really hard to get that with boar ferocity. So this passion can be coming from you if this is not someone else coming towards you with this. So you could be shocking yourself with this. But I feel like outside of venting to a loved one, I'm seeing this as work as well. And you're putting that energy into it. And you're getting that energy back. I do see someone getting a home. Also, their own business takes off. I'm seeing a lot of bookings or a lot of, um, a lot of customers. A lot of people buying your product with that eight of wands. Yeah, a lot of people see your business online. I don't know if you paid for ads, but a lot of eyes are on your business, your online business, or maybe you got a building and it's somewhere where a lot of people um, frequent on a daily basis. Your business, if you're doing any type of personal business, it's gonna take off. Clarifying the seven of pentacles, it's the three of cups, a celebration. I'm getting a long-term friend, a reunion the devil capricorn and that's when this friend comes in there's a long time friend it could be a capricorn but i feel like this friend has toxic traits a lot of fear that they hide as um aggression or masculinity or anger because they're both i noticed the red eyes i keep looking at the red eyes in this card and this card has it as well and with ferocity and the devil i'm getting that someone has a lot of fear that they mask with anger and aggression. That's a long-term friend of yours and they're um, reuniting with you to finally address it. I also feel like, of course, you had a lot of fear here, but you put it aside and put in the work. And with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like you've been doing this for years, as well as this being a long-term friend and it's finally paying off with Three of Cups, a celebration, a reunion, confession, like everything's working out. I feel like your your um pers your own business and your relationship is paying off. Clarifying the hermit card is the ace of wands. Yeah, a business idea with the page of wands and the ace of wands and the page of pentacles. Uh, you have a very lucrative business idea that's paying off dramatically. Justice. That's true justice here. Libra energy. Overall energy is the king of cups. Could be dealing with a water sign. 
I feel like that I keep getting the water sign, this King of Cups as the overall energy. I keep getting it. And I feel like that has to do with, and then with vulnerability, I keep getting that card now. So it's been leading up. People's repressed emotions are coming out in different ways. And I feel like whatever this product is, it's, it's very healing to those who are opening up. And I feel like I did a reading like this for you. Let me see about a product. I don't know if it was you or another sign. It might have been a different. I think it was probably on my other channel. Regardless, I did a reading that was like your product. Yeah, it was on my second channel. I have another channel where I do collective readings only called Pastel Puff. And in at one reading I did said it's a hit your business partner and you are taking off or something like that. A product takes off. So you may want to check out that reading. But I might link it. But I'm seeing that um it works out. Your business works out. You become a CEO, a boss, and of course it takes off. But I'm getting with this connection. I'm not getting that you need to fear expressing your emotions. If this is you, instead of someone doing this towards you, I feel like you should just let it out. And if someone is coming towards you, allow them to let that out. I feel like this could be a good business partner. But the product that you have, I feel like that um, that coincides with the people who are being vulnerable at this time. But let me get you your final message. So I'm seeing a beautiful connection here. I don't know why I'm getting that your product because with the Seven of Pentacles, again, long-term investment, clarified by the Three of Cups and the Devil. So you've been friends with and connection with this person for a while. With this fear, addiction, or enslavement for a while. And... Hmm. You're finally letting it out, expressing it, letting it go. Yeah, it's your justice, being free from it. Yeah, because with the justice card clarifying the hermit, I feel like someone was trapped and they're being set free. Oh, we have brain. Identity, survival, the opinion of others. Yeah, setting... Setting yourself free. So maybe you were told at a young age that anything besides being happy, you were to stuff down. Because I feel like you hid a lot of your emotions so you could be accepted. And you don't want that anymore. We have bees, togetherness, work, treasures. Yeah, you're going to be working with this person. I feel like this could be a great business partner for you. Because they, they are really the example of your business. This is what you want your product to do. We have, you could literally sell dolls and that could help people heal their inner child because that's what I'm really getting. Healing, like inner child healing. All right, we have doll, illusion, old wounds, childhood. Now, if it's not dolls, you, you're you doing, um, you're making illustrations, like books, kid books. Definitely illusion, childhood, old wounds. And I think I said that. All right. Overall energy is wildflowers. Renewal, romance, awakening. Did I say that right before I pulled that card? I don't know. <laughs> and I do think there... Yes, this is reminding me of... This is literally word for word that reading I did on my second channel. Like your business takes off, your business idea or your idea takes off and there was romance with a business partner. So please check it out. I'll link it in the description box because this is literally that reading. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.